What's good, y'all? What's good, y'all? Tom McDonald, sheeple, bitch. Humans been controlled since the day that they were civilized. The truth has been so heavily politicized. If you don't know who's controlling you and killing all the little That's dope guys, in the background. Not allowed to criticize. Black folks who were never ever actual slaves fighting with white folks who ain't actual Nazis controlled by rich folks who use the news to make hate while elite folks control other political parties it's a big lie trying to make you pick sides trying to make you burn the cities down and kill each other they got sick minds big lies deep on the police so that there's big crime to take away our freedom to restore order they let die play with people turn men into women make the counterculture mainstream to mix up the system mm -hmm. change the pronouns of gender that was a bar right there privilege. I know poor white folks and black celebrities with millions they starve you with a lack of information and only give you facts through a branded corporation distort your worldview with an algorithm that changes based on propaganda curated for your engagement oh, it's been. we can't be free can't have no peace till we're on the same team but y'all are sheep blue the screen's just part of the machine y'all are sheep Been writing your brain, controlling your mouth. You say lit, mm -hmm. fleek, bet, cap. They're trying to dumb you down. They mm -hmm. endorse whatever narrative is popular to shout and use minorities in movies for diversity clout. Two sides on the spectrum, but ain't none of them honest. Took the red pill and the blue pill, spit them both in the garbage. Being yeah. woke used to mean you understood you were a target. And now it's having two good legs and never taking a step forward. If you agree, it's free speech. Disagree, it's hate speech. Erase it if it came from anywhere except the mainstream. Mm -hmm. Trump supporters think okay. it's the racist, but they can't be. Lincoln was Republican. And that's who ended slavery. Science mm. been politicized, it's easy to see. A mask became a symbol of which side you believe. But yeah. you'll never cure a sickness till you cure the greed. Because the problem with our natural immunity is it's free. Society is broken, want you locked inside a cubicle. Mm. Addicted to pornography, liquor, and pharmaceuticals. Damn. They tell you that you're fat and poor and you were never beautiful. Uh -huh. They tweet how much they love you when they hear about your funeral. Damn. We can't be free. <laughs> that's some bars right there. They want you dumb and dead. They divided you by race, religion, income, and sex. Made everybody mm. right and left. The hatred got so intense. If the other side likes oxygen, you'll put a bag on your head. And the conspiracy theories labeled as misinformation is just a terrifying truth that scares the hell out the nation. The system treating you like trash and you got rifles to aim with. Just imagine how they'll treat you when your guns get confiscated. George Orwell, 1984 was his last lecture. George called them thought police. Now we call them fact checkers. Government surveillance trying to catch you. They don't ask questions. Mass incarceration equals capital. But over cash investors. The system isn't broke, it's working fine. Oppressive and chaotic is how it was designed. They say if we ain't doing nothing wrong, there's nothing to hide. While their agenda and intelligence completely classified. They don't teach your rights in school, you never learn them at all. Because they're easy to remove if you don't know what they are. The uh -huh. only people you can rule are the criminal ones. So they force you into corners till you're breaking the law. Mm -hmm. We can't be free. Can't have no peace till we're on the same team. But y'all are sheep. Yep, I ain't mad at it. Yeah, man. So shout out to Tom for bringing us another video here. And I mean, let's talk about this sheeple real quick. So I'm going to start by saying this and then I'm going to explain why. I feel this way or this is my initial reaction as soon as I, you know, sink my teeth into the song for lack of a better word. So this wasn't my favorite time record and I'm going to tell you why. I feel like the thing that kind of not ruined it for me because I still think it's a good song in many ways too, just as much as I, you know, wish some things were different, but the energy and the verses and the things that he was saying and kind of the way he was presenting it. And then the way the hook kind of came in with that sing songy, almost pop type of feel to it. I feel like he should have went hard as he did on the hook, like he did in the verses. But that being said, it's not that it was bad because even what he was saying and the, the hook was dope. It just I feel like that particular presentation of it 
for this particular record or at least after those verses i think you know maybe that could have been tinkered with a little bit but that's just my personal opinion i'm sure a lot of y'all gonna feel differently about that but again you're not just here for me to tell you what you want to hear but you really want to see my true reaction and i mean how i really respond to things on my first you know sight or listen if you want to put it that way so in this particular instance wasn't my favorite again but there are some pieces that stand out and good thing that tom could rap now you can say whatever you want to about him you don't like what he's talking about you think it's corny blah 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 whatever i've heard it all it's been in my comment section trust me i know but one thing you can't take away from him when he gets in his bag when he starts talking that shit he really can't rap now sometimes is it a little bit too much of the political shit yeah maybe but that's who he is and that's his message and he's going to give you that message no matter when you pick up his records if it's early time or if it's the late shit that he's just dropping lately so i appreciate that about him and i keep saying that over and over again because so many people get to a certain position and then they start switching up they start thinking oh shit i gotta do what's popular i gotta do what's gonna sound good i gotta go use the same producers i gotta get writers that wrote hit songs and i gotta get with this label i gotta get with that and tom is completely independent doing it on his own so this is why I really respect that because, you know, money does change shit. Money does change people, but it doesn't seem like in this instance, or at least as far as his music and his creative vision, he hasn't had to alter that at all. And this song here, this video here is another example of that. And speaking of this video here, one thing that I guess draws me to this video is I remember him posting like the before and after of him sitting there with all the dummy heads. And he's kind of like talking about some of the behind the scenes shits. And that's dope because, again, it just goes to show that he's doing it all on his own. Not literally all on his own, but I mean, without no major push or without no massive budget, unless it's the stuff that he's putting together himself, him and his team. So I just really respect that a lot. And this video is no different visually. It, I mean, striking. If Nova's really editing these these videos and it's crazy to see the progression now, the different effects that are in there, like the eye and the sky and everything else is just like. It's so symbolic and it's so speaking to the saying that if you put 10,000 10, hours into something, you know, you'll become a master at it. And these videos are getting so damn good. I would be surprised if she's not getting commissioned to at least edit videos for other people. Now, I would assume she's doing the filming, too, you know, because I mean, if you're going to do that much editing, that type of editing on it, generally you're taking the shots because you kind of know what you want things to look like, where you're going to place things, you kind of have an idea already. So that's super duper dope. And those are some of the things that I like about the record. Now, another thing I guess that I felt like could have been a little better. I really wasn't feeling that beat. Now, I know Tom makes his own beats and, and you know, he writes all the records, and everything like that. For me personally, again, I just think for the aggressiveness of the song, I feel like that beat should have just been hitting like. I always think of something like hell of it when I think of like a hard Tom McDonald beat because that shit just slapped. You know what I'm saying? And to this day, it still slaps. And there's so many other ones that we've talked about on this channel. But just my take on this one in particular wasn't my favorite. But does that mean it's a bad song? Absolutely not, because he's still saying some real ass shit. So with that being said, y'all make sure y'all head on over to Tom McDonald's YouTube page. Click on that sheeple video. It's the latest one. Once you get there, hit that like button, show a little love, drop a comment in the comment section for them. After you do that, sign out your main account, sign into your second YouTube account, your burner account. You know the one I'm talking about. Head back to that sheeple video on Tom McDonald's YouTube page. Need you to hit that like button one more time. Scroll down once again and drop one more comment. But this time, let them know your boy Ant Dollar sent you on over. And don't worry if it's not something you want to do, something you're not interested in. You hate being told what to do. I'm like you. I don't like authority either, but do take your ass on over there and show some love anyway. Why? It's the right thing to do. You probably in the hangover gang if you're watching this. And besides, we need to show more love as a people anyway, even if it's not something that we used to doing. So without any further ado, let's do. I right, think yo.